Hey, good morning, Bob Mori here from Community Ford, and here is the video, the walk-around video of this Escalade, the 2010 Escalade that I promised. First, I'm going to start around on the outside so you get a good idea of uh, how the body panels are, and uh, although it's not perfect, it doesn't have big dents or scratches or anything like that. There's a small dent here on the front. I don't know if a body guy can get that out. We have dent guys that come in here. I'm going to show you the tread on the tires. It's a low profile tire. If you notice, the chrome wheels aren't all scoured up and everything. We're going to go along the side here so you can check the body. There's a little bitty dent right there, but it's not real bad. In fact, I wouldn't even worry about that one. We're going to go around here, check out this wheel and tire. Same kind of tread depth, good head tread depth. The wheel's not all scoured up by the curb rash. Go around to the back. Check it out in the back. I'm going to go ahead and lift the the tailgate here section so you get a view inside see the condition of it Come back up lower the tailgate now I use the remote to raise it and I use the button inside to lower it. We're going to walk along this Craig side line, of the outside to check out the body panels. I'm sorry it's dirty. We've had a lot of snow and ice here. And I didn't have a chance to get this all cleaned up. Once again, the wheels don't have any uh, curb rash. Good tread on the tires. Walk on around. And get to the front, check out the front tire and wheel. All the tires match, all the tread matches. Back up and give you kind of a, a full view of the, of the Escalade. And now we're going to go inside. First... We're going to go around to the back seat. Of course, it's leather. Here's the uh, passenger rear seat behind the driver. The leather's not torn up or anything. Of course, it has somewhere on it. And then the passenger rear seat behind the passenger side in the front. It does have the entertainment section in the roof and in the headrests, uh, on the front headrests. Here are all your controls in the back for climate and entertainment and heated seats. Of course, it does have heated seats in the back. And then the third row seat. Get a close up seating material, the leather, and I'm going to raise this up so you can see the sunroof. It's already open. Now we're going to go to the front to climb in. Here's the driver's seat. Again, it's not ripped or torn. There is some wear and tear, but then that's to be expected, I would think. There's the passenger seat in the front. And let me climb in. And we're going to check out the dash. Notice the top of the dash. We don't have any discoloration or cracking or anything like that going on. We'll check out the wood grain part of the dash. Now this is fairly typical of General Motors products, uh, the fan button has lost some of its paint. Um, that can be uh, 
repaired. We don't do that kind of repair, but it can be repaired. I'm going to start it up. I'm going to take it for a real quick drive. Notice the miles. I'm going to put my seatbelt on. We don't have a lot of gas, so we're not going to go very far. Just to give you an idea of how the thing does drive. Uh, by the way, these work. Uh, sometimes these things don't work. So we're going to take it for a short drive, just kind of give you an idea. I've driven this uh, Escalade several times. Nice smooth ride. The brakes are right there. We're going to come to a quick stop. Notice no squealing on the brakes. We've gone through this vehicle top to bottom mechanically. Found it to be safe. Now I'm going to give it a little gas here. Test track's kind of short, so we're going to come to a really quick stop. Then we're going to go in reverse. Here's your backup camera. We're going to back her up. And take it back to the lot. But mechanically, it seems to be uh, all there. Uh, we will turn on the radio, check out a few other things. I've already checked the heat, air conditioning, all the turn signals, uh, the sunroof, and all that does work just fine. Um, these vehicles will get a few problems, uh, typical problems, uh, like the uh, uh, running boards don't retract up if it has retractable running boards and things like that. Uh, but overall, it's uh, really in pretty good shape for a couple hundred thousand mile car. So, I'm going to pull over here really quickly and we'll go through a few of the various features that it does have. First off, it's got the adjustable pedals, gas and brake. Uh, it's got heated seats and cooled seats in the front and it's heated seats in the back. We can uh, turn that on or off right here. Notice that you have separate temperature controls. Uh, we can turn the fan on, direct uh, where we want the heat to go. In this case, uh, in the face or the middle and the bottom where your feet are, just the feet uh, and the uh, rear defroster. Uh, they're both set at 90 degrees right now. I'm gonna run this down. There's your, there's your heated seats. It's showing that you've got three stages there. All right. And this is three stages for the top and bottom. And the same over here with the passenger front. Uh, there's the air conditioning. Actually, it's just cooled. And the cooled on the driver's side. Uh, here's our radio. Notice it's working just fine. It just keeps going and going. It's an 82-minute non-stop music playlist on Radio Now 100.9. I'll turn that down. Then uh, we've got presets here. you got AM, FM, and you can go satellite radio if you want to, uh, uh, to pay a subscription price on that. I'm not as familiar with these as I probably should be. But at any rate, uh, it's a pretty decent vehicle, so I am guess uh, this is going to be a pretty long video, so I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and cut it short now. If you have any other questions, give me a call at 317-831-2750.